Good morning peeps. Welcome back to another vlog. So today I'm just going to talk about uh, something I've been wanting to do since March, but uh, I wasn't able to do it. But oof, Look how foggy it is today. Look at that. So what I meant is uh, back in March, um, we had a Toyota uh, RAV4. Uh, I think you'll see it in my like early videos, but um, it got total. So my uh, wife got into an accident uh it was our fault but you know i'm glad that she's okay um and uh but we we did lose the car uh that's why uh, i did buy this originally um not for youtube channel but for not my daily either so i originally bought this car just to drive it on the weekends or on nice weather like weather like today i wouldn't drive the evo <laughs> but um yeah especially in the winter coming up here uh yeah so we are looking for a daily yep, yep i am looking for a daily uh, i'm not sure exactly well i am quite sure what type of daily i want but i'm not exactly sure what brand it also all depends on the price range of the car uh, or truck uh like i said i'm looking on uh, i'm looking into the toyota tundra which is the sr5 version um not the limited not the TRD Pro because it's pretty dang expensive up there. I'm um, looking at the Ram 1500. Uh, originally, I was looking at the 2500 because I wanted to be able to have a tow capacity. So in the future that I could tow um, like an RV or something or like a big trailer if I want to go to SEMA. But the 2500, unless I get a used, which I'm not fond of buying used car. I mean, the Evo is probably the first used car I ever bought. Uh, not, nothing against it. I think one owner is good, but I just I don't know something about buying a car that's made for you, you know. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking into the 1500, but I'm looking at the not the Bighorn trim, but more like the Rebel trim. But the price range is pretty high up there. You're looking at the mid uh, low or mid uh, you know 50 thousands for that. Um, I also looked into. Uh, two three other brand trucks just like the chevy silverado or you know the gnc sierra but i don't like i mean the outside of the truck looks really nice but the interior you know is pretty plain just like the tundra is pretty plain they haven't updated too much the ram interior is amazing uh i know people buy truck not because of the interior or the outer look uh they they buy trucks because of tow capacity and stuff like that but you know i'm more of a look kind of guy uh i don't know too much about trucks itself um, but yeah, so I'll definitely get into more detail once we get in the vehicle about each truck and you know why I want to get that truck um, But something funny. I just found out that I'm missing a uh, cap Right here. I don't know where that cap go. I never took the uh, I don't think I ever took it off, but gotta look for it. I'm gonna get a new one The models on some shit But yeah guys uh Tomorrow is when I go pick up the side skirts the fender and the bumper so in the next video you'll see it on it won't be wrapped it'll just be on uh yeah it's, it's gonna be pretty pretty different look for the evo finally uh i'm kind of sad that i'm losing this vent because i really like this vent dan did an amazing job and andrew also did an amazing job fabricating it so yeah i'm pretty sad missing the vent but but various man you know can't go wrong with that oh <laughs> uh, but yeah I get you guys a cold start. warm up because it's extremely cold oh god it's only it's 40 oh man why does it feel like it's colder maybe i'm getting old but yeah today's supposed to be uh up towards uh high 50s uh yesterday i actually wore a t-shirt so it was pretty amazing i mean this carbon tastic steering wheel is amazing god i love it Ooh, very nice. Oh, check out the logo. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, guys, uh, I nailed it down, uh, me and the wife. So me and my wife went to like a bunch of dealership in the past, like I like two to three weeks, just trying to get a good deal, just trying to figure out which truck is right for me. Um, I'll actually almost convince myself to buy another van, but that then, then I was like, okay, right, we got one van and we get another van, it's pretty impractical. At least when we get a truck, if we need to haul something or we need to throw stuff in the truck or bigger furniture, I don't have to pull the seat out the van like I always do and just put it in a truck. You know, if worst come to worst, I'll go rent something at U-Haul and like a trailer or something and pull, pull whatever we need. And also, you know, if I'm trying to take the car to, you know, like an event or something I didn't want to drive it I could also just you know trailer it you know and, and a 1500 or you know a f F-150 or stuff like that like a smaller or even a Tundra you you know you'll be able to pull stuff like that you know you, you won't be able to pull an RV but you'll definitely be able to pull a car easily so um, like I said I went to a bunch of dealership uh, I think I nailed it down to two cars well I nailed it down to two trucks uh, either the Toyota Tundra the SR5 version which is um, uh, in a cement gray so if you guys ever seen uh, the tundra the cement gray is very very nice so I very I, I like it I like the look of it uh, it's just the interior is really outdated for the tundra you know it just looks like you know any other Toyota you know I, I go into my Sienna all you it looks just like the Sienna interior you know you got that gray interior you know the polish uh, you know trim on it it just you know it just don't look nice i mean it don't look appealing the ram you know it looks amazing even a big horn they have the big screen on it you know and it's a dual big screen so you could you know do something on top you know do something on the bottom put an app on top put an app on the bottom you know separate app it has you know 360 reverse cam uh it, it just looks and it just looks like um it don't look outdated that's what i'm saying uh it's a lot of feature in it uh i you know i don't know i just i just like how the ram looks a lot more um yeah it's just something about it and the rebel trim so let me let me compare to, let me show you a little bit of the price comparison between those two all right it's not a much of a big difference uh so like i said i went to a bunch of dealership so if you got the ram which uh there's two different types i think two or three different uh type of rebels with i mean i'm not saying different type okay there's one rebel but um, it has uh, different options in each one. So let's say one of the option if the MSRP is sixty thousand or the MSRP is sixty five thousand, something like that, right? Or seventy thousand. So I looked at a uh, MSRP for one RAM, which is seventy thousand. If I'm trying to get that out the door pricing with you know sales tax titles and everything tags and you know whatever else the dealer charge, uh, it'll be like I think he put it down to 54,000 out the door which is not bad so you know you lose a little bit so let's say 60,000 but if you include tags and everything it'll be like 63 so you you gain you you know from SRP to out the door you put it down to 54 so you, that's a $9,000 uh, deduction so you get it for you know $9,000 cheaper but that's like I say still above my price range um, and I'll also look at another trim which is a uh, like a $60,000 MSRP trim for the Rebel. Uh, I got it out the door for 51000 So uh, if you include a military discount on that, so you're looking at about 50000 out the door. So that's that's for the Rebel. Um, and that's in, you know, in a white color and one is in a red color, I think. Uh, one's in Manassas and one is in Culpeper in Virginia. Um, if you guys are actually interested in these vehicles in Northern Virginia, let me know. I'll put the link on the bottom uh, and the price I got quoted for. So you, you might don't have to haggle with them because I've been haggling with them for about a week or two now. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't really rush into buying my vehicle. I think the Evo is pretty much the only vehicle I bought at price because <laughs> the final edition is uh, pretty hard to find, especially in lower mileage. Uh, and I have, like I said, I have to drive to Ohio to get this. Um, okay and, and we're looking at the uh the tundra so the tundra uh i was looking at the sr5 version i was look, also looking at limited the pro trd version not looking at it okay but the sr5 uh the difference between sr5 and the limited is the leather interior 
and the sunroof pretty much uh, there's really not that much of a other difference the interior is the same the engines the same everything's the same um, so the SR5 uh, there was two different versions of the SR5 and the Tundra uh, there was a TRD version of the SR5 which is it has a TRD tow package on it you know something like that uh, and the other one is just a plain one so I was um, I was looking at both of them. The one that's like a TRD, you know, version of it. You're looking at fifty thousand out the door. Um, the one with the just the regular, you know, SR5. It still has the, you know, push to start, uh, spray bed liner type deals like that. It was uh, forty seven thousand out the door. So, I mean, we're going towards my price right now. Forty forty seven thousand dollars towards my price range. But the issue I'm running into right now is I'm really in you know indecisive so I'm you're looking at forty seven thousand dollars for an outdated in interior but the out exterior is good you know it's it's a tundra you know and the engine will last longer because it's a Toyota obviously um, or you're looking at a f increase in three more thousand right and you could get better option on the interior you know like for the rebel you could buy a rebel for three more thousand more so Right now, I'm kind of stuck with that. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna pull the trigger, but it's gonna be either one of those two vehicles. And you know, it's I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet, yet. So yeah, I'm just not exactly sure which type, you know, I want, you know, and just, I know, like I said, <laughs> I'm gonna get one of those trucks for my daily. I just can't figure out which one it is. Um, it, it's just, I'm narrowing it down. I mean, do I wanna pay a couple more thousand, get better option? Do I not pay a couple more thousand and get a lesser truck? I wouldn't say it's a lesser truck. I would just say a truck that I prefer less because I prefer the Ram over the Tundra a lot more. I did own a Tundra back in the day uh, and towing, I mean, I had a quad cab. I mean, uh, and it was only like a 4.6 liter, I think. It's not the 5.8 it had. And, you know, I just, I didn't like it too much. Uh, so, that's why I wanted to get a Ram. But yeah, eventually I would get one of those vehicles it's for my daily because I don't want to drive the Evo anymore. The mileage of the Evo is going really up high. As you can see, I bought it at about 29,000 miles December of last year. So it's almost a year. Uh, I think another week into a year. And I put 6,000 miles into the car this year. Um, but I mean, most of it due to, like I said, COVID. COVID-19, you know, I was indoor for at least four or five months. I didn't even go outside. The Evo was parked. I just started up once in a while. So, yeah, it was because of COVID. The mileage is down. If it wasn't for COVID, I'd be driving this a lot more. So you're looking at probably 12,000 to 15,000 miles this year. And and I really don't want to add that much miles to the Evo. But, yeah, peeps, that's it. Uh, that's pretty much it for the vlog. It's a short vlog today. I just want to let you guys know what I'm going what I'm thinking what I'm going through right now as far as uh, a new daily uh, and hopefully in the next couple of video I'll show you guys which daily I choose but it's definitely gonna be one of them just not sure exactly which one but anyways thanks for tuning into this vlog peeps and I'll see you next time peace